Hello, my brothers and sisters. A good afternoon to some of y'all. Good morning to some of y'all. A good night to some of y'all. Wherever y'all are in this world, do you love Jesus? And if you love Jesus like the way I love Jesus, give him some glory right now. Honor his name right now. Shout out his holy name right now. Give him the praise right now if you really love Jesus. Glory! I love me some Jesus. No matter what my situation looks like, no matter what my circumstances look like, I love Jesus. I'm going to continue to always praise him. I'm always going to glorify his holy name. I'm going to continue to worship him each and every day in the midst of my storm, in the midst of my tunnel. I'm still running each and every day, no matter what my situation looks like, no matter what my circumstances look like, because I love Jesus, and that's why I give him the praise. That's why I give him the glory the way I do, because I love Jesus, and I'm always going to glorify him and magnify his holy name, even if I had to do it by myself I'm going to give him the glory each and every day because he is awesome he's amazing and he is faithful if you really love Jesus give him the praise right now stop what you're doing right now turn that football game off right now turn your phone off right now quit talking to your husband or your, or your wife right now or your kids right now or your family members right now and give Jesus the glory right now Give him the praise right now. Magnify his holy name right now. If you're in love with Jesus. And do it boldly. Just don't do it because you want something. Just don't do it because you're in need with something. Do it because you're in love with Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. I'm in love with Jesus. Amen. Amen. And today's text is coming from the book of Habakkuk. Chapter 2. Verse 3. And today's lesson is. Your wait is over. God is making a way right now. And you know what your wait is? How many of y'all right now have been waiting for a revelation from God? You've been waiting for an answer from God? You've been waiting for things to turn your way from God? And if you've been waiting like I've been waiting right now, the Lord has put it in my spirit. And he put it in my spirit this morning, around about 3 o'clock this morning. He said, LT, I need you to preach on this today. Because there are a lot of people who's been going through the same thing that you've been going through. And they've been waiting for the revelation. Let's let them know that the revelation is here. And let them know that their wait is over with. The wait is over. Your wait is over. He said, I'm making a wait right now. I have it in route right now. I have it in transit right now. For the ones who've been waiting on me. For the ones who've been faithful. For the ones who've been obedient. Your wait is over. Amen? Amen. So I know this message today is clear for somebody today. I don't know who, but somebody in the world been going through the same thing I've been going through. And you've been waiting for your revelation. Your revelation is here today. This message is for you today. Amen? Amen. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father, God, I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for another day of life today, that you bless us with our health today, our strength today. I just can't thank you enough that you was able to wake us up this morning for us to seek you this morning, to glorify you this morning, to worship you this morning, to praise you this morning, and shout out glory! this morning. I just can't thank you enough for everything that you have done and everything that you're doing in our life right now today. I just can't thank you enough because you made sure and promised myself and all your children today who's been faithful and patient with you that I that I wait is over right now. That you are making a way right now. That you are in transit right now. And we just can't thank you enough for that Jesus. That's why we always going to glorify you. Magnify your holy name. And shout out your holy name. You always number one in our life. For that reason right there Jesus. We just can't thank you enough. We just can't thank you enough. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. I just can't get enough saying glory. For my amazing faithful God. He is so faithful. He is so merciful. He is so loving. That's why I love me some Jesus. I love him. I love him. I love him. I love him. In Jesus name. That's why I can't thank him enough. In Jesus name. Amen. Now ladies and gentlemen. We're about to get into this word. Can you please turn your Bibles. To the book of Habakkuk. Chapter 2. We're going to read verse 3. 
And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out, amen. Amen, let's begin. For the revelation awaits an appointed time, and it speaks of the end. It will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come. It will not delay. For the revelation waits at a point in time. What's the revelation? The revelation what you've been praying for. The revelation what you've been asking for. The revelation what you've been on your knees asking God to do for you. And the revelation has came to me this morning to speak to my brothers right now, to speak to my sisters right now. God is telling you right now, your wait is over with right now. He said, I know the pain that you've been going through. I know the difficulties that you've been facing. I know the letdown, the setbacks, the stress, the worries. He said, no more would you be, in de you'd be depressed. No more would you be let down. No more would you have to be worried. No more would you have to be stressed out because your weight is over with. He said, I'm making a way for you right now. I'm in transit right, right now. I'm making a move for you right now on your behalf because of your obedience, because of your patience, and because you still been lifting my name up. You still been worshiping me. That's why your wait is over with. You don't have to wait no more. And I'm telling you now, my brothers and my sisters, when the Lord spoke to me this morning about 3 o'clock, he said, LT, he says, a lot of people out there right now it's going through the same thing that you're going through. It's been waiting for the revelation to come. But in the midst of that, I've seen the pain they've been going through like you've been going through. I've seen the frustration that they've been going through what you're going through. I've seen the letdowns, the um, the disappointments, the um, the stress, the worry. But in the midst of that, y'all still been faithful to me. you still been praising me. you still been glorifying my holy name each and every day. you still been obedient. So let them know that the revelation is saying today, your wait is over. I'm making a way right now. I'm in transit right now. I'm in route right now to bring you everything that you ask for, even thing that you didn't even ask or pray for. I'm in route. I'm in transit right now to bring it to you. And he says, it speaks to the end. And then Jesus let you know, say, will not prove false. And see, he said, though it linger. He said, wait. Your prayers have been lingering for a long time. Hmm. Your prayers, what you've been asking for, trusting in, and believing in, has been lingering for a long time. Now, haven't it? Now, I know I'm talking to somebody today. Who out there in the world who's been waiting on Jesus to turn his situation around? Who's been waiting? Come on, now be honest with yourself. Who's been waiting? I need one witness right now. I need one witness right now to say, you know what? I've been waiting. I've been waiting for my situation to turn. I've been waiting for my circumstances to turn. I've been waiting to get out of the storm. I've been waiting for blessings. I've been waiting for favor. But you don't have to wait no longer, my brothers. You don't have to wait no longer, my sisters. Your wait is over with. Jesus is making a way right now. He's in route right now. He's in transit right now for you. Then he said, it will certainly come and it will not delay. When it comes, it's coming right now. When he say not delay, because he in route right now. He in transit right now. He better than FedEx. He's better than UPS. He's better than any carrier service. That's why he won't delay. And that's why it won't stop nothing. He is making a way right now. He's in transit right now. He's in route right now. Some of y'all don't even realize right now, your bank account going to be different by tomorrow morning. Your situation is turning around for you right now. Your circumstances is turning around for you right now. All your dreams that you've been praying for, all your dreams when you surrendered and you gave it to Jesus, it's in route right now, it's in transit right now. It will not delay because your wait is over with. Some of y'all have been praying for children even when the human doctor told you that you was barren. Even the human doctor told some of your brothers out there I don't see how you're going to have a child not producing anything. See, what the human doctor said. But the real doctor said, I'm in route right now. But don't be surprised, my brothers. Don't be surprised how God do it. I believe right now God is sending that angel right now. It's like he did Mary. That angel is going into your wife right now and putting those kids inside of your wife right now. But don't trip like Joseph did and turn around. See, but angel had to stop Joseph and let Joseph know, say, hey, 
I know your wife was a virgin. You probably thought your wife was cheating her, but she not. She wasn't. He said, that's a blessing coming from me. So when the angel spoke to Joseph, Joseph knew right then and now that it was a powerful blessing that was coming because Joseph wanted a child with Mary. And some of y'all want a child with your wife. And some of your wife want a child with your husband. But something has been stopping along the way. Because what the human doctor has said, but the real doctor said, I'm making a way for you right now. I'm in route right now for you. I'm in transit right now for you. So don't be surprised, my brothers. If your wife just tells you, say, you know what? I'm pregnant. And if you get that news, my brothers, just believe that God sent the angel to go on your wife to give you and bless you what you've been asking for. Don't be surprised that people start calling your phone by tomorrow morning telling you they have this, this special job for you. Even the job that you didn't even ask for. Even the job that you didn't apply for. But it's the job that Jesus wants to send you. Don't be surprised all these connections and all these resources start chasing you down. Don't be surprised how things start turning around for you. Don't be surprised you get a phone call from the bank and say you have an insignificant amount of money in your bank account. Where did it come from? You're going to know where it came from. It came from Jesus because he knows You've been struggling paying your bills. He know you've been struggling to make ends meet. But in the midst of all that, you've been waiting for that revelation for things to turn. You've been waiting for light to come. You've been running in your dark tunnel. And you're still running. Even you don't ask Jesus for a towel to wipe your sweat off your face. Jesus gave you a towel. You wipe the sweat off your face. Even though you feel like you want to give up while you're running. You asked Jesus for some strength and he healed you with your strength. Even when you're missing, you was running through your, your dark tunnel, you needed a drink of water. Jesus gave you a cup of water. He said, keep running. By the weight of all that, now you better run into light. Everything that you ask for or pray for, your weight is over with. Jesus is in route right now. He's in transit right now. He's about to make a way for you right now. Give him the praise right now. Give him the honor right now. Give him the glory right now. Your weight is over with. Now, who I'm talking to today? Who am I talking to today? Because your revelation has spoke to you today. Now, if somebody needs one witness today, have you been waiting? Have you been waiting? Have you been stressed out? Have you been depressed? Have you been struggling? And if you have, and if you haven't, but you still been praising Jesus, you still been faithful to Jesus, and you still been obedient to Jesus, the revelation he spoke to me this morning, he said, let my children know your weight is over with. I'm in route for you right now. I'm in transit for you right now. He said, it's been lingering for a long time. I know your prayer's been lingering. I know. But he said, when I come, it will not delay. Like I said, Jesus is better than FedEx. He's better than UPS. He's better and quicker than any carrier service it is in the world. That's why he said it will not delay. He's in route for you right now. He's in transit for you right now. I believe it. I believe it. I know my weight is over with. I've been praying. I've been fasting. I've been doing everything that Jesus expected out of me. So when he spoke to me this morning, he said, son, let them know. Your weight is over with. I'm making the way for you right now. He said, you've been waiting for the revelation. The revelation has spoke. He said, I'm speaking to you for you to speak to them. <clears throat> Do you get that? He spoke to me so I can speak to you to let you know your weight is over with. You know what you've been waiting on? He said, wait no longer. Your weight is over with. I'm in route for you right now. I'm in transit for you right now. That's why all I can say is glory. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. I've been waiting for this for a long time. So you don't have to wait anymore. And he said, will not delay. I'll be on time. Glory. Hallelujah. I don't know who I'm talking to today. But if this message is for you today, right now you need to give him the glory like you never gave him the glory before in your life. Because the revelation has spoke to you today. Amen? Amen. And before I close, I was at the end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to take over, to guide me, direct me, and use me so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now 
In the mighty name of Jesus. By y'all praying this simple little prayer. That God is already working everything God in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is Withers. Die LT. It's Minister LT. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus name. Amen.